Hello, my courageous Capricorn, and welcome to your monthly May reading. This is just a general reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, check out your love bonus and your moon reading if you haven't had a chance to yet. If this doesn't resonate with you, please do check out the other signs in your chart. However, if you like this, please do like, subscribe, share, all that other great stuff. I would greatly appreciate it. It does help me grow my channel, and it does help it get to all of our other lovely Capricorns. Also, if you would comment and let me know if you like this style or not, I would greatly appreciate it because we are doing a past, present, future spread. And this is um, time is fluid in tarot and gender is neutral, just to let you know. All right, so we're starting out and we have the hermit in reverse, okay? So I feel like for many of you, you are kind of getting out there now, okay? You might be breaking out and it may not just be because... Um, you know, of the weather, but I think that has a lot to do with a lot of you coming out, honestly. Um, you know, the weather's breaking, the weather's changing. Um, people are coming out, getting out, being out more so, okay? So I think a lot of you are coming out of a hermit phase, right? You know, we've been in for the winter, we've kind of been locked away, it's been crappy weather, and now it's time to come out, see people, uh, feel a little bit more like ourselves, feel a little bit more alive. Um, so I do feel like for some of us, that's happening for sure. Um, and for others, I just feel like, you know, you are kind of like, um, you know, you're just feeling like maybe you need to be more connected. Okay. So for some of you, maybe you've been single, maybe you've been in a relationship that wasn't great and you feel like you've kind of disconnected yourself from others. Maybe, um, you've kind of just, you know, you're not answering the phone as much. You're not answering your texts as much. It's just like, sometimes they sit for days. Sometimes your emails sit for days and you're just like, I'll get to it when I get to it. And I feel like now you're kind of a little bit more motivated to kind of be just kind of a little bit more involved, right? You just are like, okay, I'm, I'm a little bit more like I'm ready to be um, back out there a little bit, okay? So I kind of feel that vibe for some of you. And the next card is the Empress card. So again, I feel like a lot of you, um, and that's gender neutral, but it is a like kind of heavy maternal card where you're strong and you're, you know, independent and you're kind of you know, overseeing things and being in charge and watching things grow around you that you kind of fruits of your labor, those kinds of things. So I do feel like, you know, for many of you, you are kind of like getting back into the position where you kind of feel like, okay, I'm back into my, um, you know, my self-esteem is coming back for some of you, you know, some of you who may have come out of a breakup or, you know, being alone or not have had uh, much good in the dating scene, those kinds of things. Or maybe, you know, you've been without work for a while, you've lost a job or haven't really felt like working for a while uh, because of things. And now you're kind of like, I'm ready to get back out there and try some things. So I feel like you're kind of really being kind of ready to do those things. Let's get another one here. Okay. Knight of Swords in reverse. So, I do feel like that you have, um, you know, you have a, a tendency though to like jump at things. And with this, this, this card is kind of letting me know that you need to kind of hold back a little bit. Okay. So for some of you, I feel like because this newfound excitement or energy or whatever is coming to you, you might have a tendency to jump at anything that comes right away. And I don't mean that in a, a negative way. Like, okay, the first person who wants to date me, you're like all over. I'm like, why not rice? I don't mean it like that. Um, but I mean, like you might, you know, somebody you might not normally ever show interest in, and you know, you don't have any long-term interest in, you would, you know, you're still going to like accept being in a relationship with or something just because you're like, but I don't want to be alone anymore. So, you know, I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Um, almost like a settling. I feel like that's almost like a settling situation or like a job, like, well, I've been out of work. So because I've been out of work, I better take whatever I can get right away. When instead you should really be a little bit more, um, you know, just because you've decided now's the time and maybe you feel a little bit like, you know, your self-esteem was a little bit lower from whatever you've come through or whatever, you've been a little bit down and out. I don't feel like you need to settle for anything. So I do feel like this is a situation where maybe, you know, to me, that's like a settling. So I, f I have a feeling of this, of some of you want to have a tendency to settle and don't do that. Okay. So let's see going forward what we've got, right? Okay. We've got a four of pentacles in reverse. So um, I feel like, again, this is something where some of you kind of want to go hog wild, <laughs> you know, instead of holding on to your pentacles, instead of like holding tight to what funds you have, 
you know, once you come out of that hermit stage, once you're getting that feeling of those vibes, feeling better, you know, you might want to be taking vacations, hanging out, spending more time out and about, maybe, you know, going out to parties, going out to, you know, be with friends, going out to do things, going places, doing things, all these different things that cost money, um, you know, that could ultimately get you in trouble, um, you know, or could get you, you know, uh, where you're hanging out with the wrong crowd if you don't, you know, if you start settling. So again, just be cautious, be careful, um, you know, don't, don't kind of go overboard, you know, because you might have been over here for quite a while, kind of, you know, you felt like you were in a kind of the dumps, maybe didn't feel great, things weren't awesome, um, you kind of had, you know, maybe the doldrums, some low self-esteem, not feeling awesome, and you were just home, stuck in, whatever, hermit phase, whatever, don't, don't do one of these, you know, don't knee-jerk reaction it, because if you do that, it's going to throw things off balance, right, let's just try to get to center, <laughs> okay, that's what you want to do, so the next card is the chariot, so that's movement forward, okay? But again, be careful with that movement forward because, you know, what you want to do is you want to move forward in a positive way, okay? We don't want this chariot to be like you guys are spending money because you're taking off on all kinds of trips with random friends that you don't really even know that well and you're spending tons of money and maybe they're using you because you're willing to, you know, spend money on them and this and that. You don't want to get in those situations because of knee-jerk reactions to, hey, I finally decided to come out and now it's fun and hey, you know, I'm the life of the party and, you know, I haven't been for a long time and, you know, how you tend to like, you know, if you've been on a fast for a while, when you start to eat again, you're like, I'll eat everything on this table you know how it can be, you know, obviously, but don't go overboard is what I'm saying. So let this chariot kind of be like just you in a slow, positive motion forward. Let's get another clarifier here. Okay. So we've got a six of cups in reverse. So I, you know, I feel like this is something where, you know, you will, I, you know, I feel like there's somebody new coming in for you, but it's not anybody that you've ever known. It's not everybody, anybody that you've been you know, in contact with before. I don't feel like it's anything that is from your past. I feel like it's something that you will have connections with. But again, be careful, okay? Because for some of you, I'm getting that distinct vibe that you might, you know, you start getting in with people, you come out of that hermit phase, and you have that knee-jerk reaction, that tendency to meet new people and, you know, jump into like, Oh, new friends, new fun, new whatever. And, you know, it's always great fun at first, you know, doing new things, making new friends, especially if you're fine with coming up off some coin, you know, but that can get really dicey really fast, especially if, you know, these aren't trusted people from your past that you know that are friends um, or they're not people that, you know, are looking out for your best interest, those kinds of things. So just be super careful because I see for a lot of you that could could be an issue. Okay. So take it easy. Let's get a last one in here. So yeah, page of cups. Again, this is that immature, younger, immature type vibe. So again, I feel like for some of you, you're coming out, you're ready to like, you know, take on the world. You come out with a very strong and mature type. I'm ready to be my best self again, vibe, you know, in good, good, um, expectations. Okay. With that, Empress energy back here. Okay. But as you come out, I feel like you are kind of like, you're just kind of like making almost some bad choices. I feel like you're almost overdoing it. Okay. You're not being selective enough. You're settling a little bit. You're not, you know, you're not taking care of your coin. You're not being selective in the people you're hanging out with, um, or the groups that you're hanging out with. Maybe, you know, you're just, um, you're just so happy to kind of be out and about or, you know, feeling better or, you know, I've been so miserable for so long and now, you know, that instant gratification feeling of having fun and having some drinks and going maybe on a trip, that chariot moving forward could be you going somewhere actually, you know, and being around fun people and, you know, but those people can really quickly get you in some trouble. So just please be careful. Let's see going forward what we've got. The devil, wonderful. So devil energy, okay? So again, I do see people uh, in this group 
someone specifically that is going to see you as an easy, vulnerable target, okay? They're going to see somebody who has come through it, maybe a wounded, you know, they see you as a wounded bird or wounded duck or whatever the terms are. Um, and they say, you know, hey, this person, you know, they have, they're throwing around their cash, they're loving to party, they're fun, and they're easy to, you know, really kind of manipulate because they want I can tell, you know, these kind of people who are especially like narcissistic people, they can they can see that so easy. They can see, okay, this person's been hurt. They they're back out now in it. Um, so if I just, you know, treat them like gold, tell them everything they want to hear, I can sell myself in a second to this person and they'll think I'm a dream walking on earth and, you know, because, you know, the devil takes all kinds of forms. And a lot of times it starts out as a sweet as pie, right, form. And it takes a long time, you know, once you're trapped in a relationship with it, then all of a sudden it changes once it's got you hooked, right? So again, I really am getting that vibe throughout with this for some of you. Be careful. Look for every red flag. Do not be vulnerable, okay? Even though you may be, have come through some stuff, maybe you've been in the doldrums, maybe you've been in depression, maybe you've been sitting at home all alone, wishing, praying, whatever for, you know, friends, praying for somebody to pay attention to you, whatever it may be. You know, just because somebody comes along and they tell you pretty words, be careful. That doesn't necessarily mean, you know what I mean? Actions speak louder than words and you want to watch the actions for a long time, okay? Because anybody can fake something for a while. And, you know, also look at how they act or how they've acted before you knew them too. You know what I mean? Like, did why, why aren't they with somebody now? What was their ex saying about them? Those kinds of things. Just please be careful, okay? The next one is the two of swords in reverse. So, you know, the two of swords going forward is like making decisions, okay? So with this, I feel like what's happening here is you're getting cornered, okay? You're getting blindsided into choices here, stuck, if you will. Again, I feel like that devil is going to trap you into a situation where you're going to be blindsided into having to make decisions on how to get out. And it's going to be a lot easier to get in than it is to get out, okay? So again, I think you can get yourself into a whole lot of trouble here and it may be very difficult to get back out of it. So be careful. Let's get another one here. The sun. Okay. So there is light at the end of the tunnel here, right? If you make the right choice and this is where it comes, right? This is the two of swords. So this is like your fork in the road. Okay. This is where you choose. Okay. This is where you're going to have to decide. Do you make the right choice or do you make the wrong one? Do you make the right choice to say, no way, I am only going to surround myself with people that I know are good, people that before I ever got depressed, hurt, whatever, were there for me, that I've known for years to be there for me, that I have a history of being there for me. You know, only those that I know that I can trust without a shadow of a doubt that's going to be my core tribe and I'll build off of that, okay? Are you going to make that decision and have positivity or are you going to make a bad decision and let the devil end up sucking you in and it's going to be hell to get out, literally, okay? So this is this is imperative that you make the right choices, okay? Let's get another one. Six of Wands. So I feel like for most of you, you are going to hit a point where you start to kind of have that self-realization, right? Now, how much of this you have to go through? Again, time is fluid in tarot. That is difficult for me to say. You know, it depends on where you are. It depends on how quick a person you are at realizing, you know, hey, I'm getting taken for a ride. Hey, I'm seeing red flags and I'm knowing it, you know, if and because you have to realize the devil is particularly good at manipulating, particularly good at lying. They are good at grooming. They're good at all these things, right? That's what they do. They're devil energy, okay? And if you're a particularly vulnerable person who, you know, you really are, you know, you have a need, you have a desire to, you know, have someone love you because you've been alone for a while or have someone to hang out with or have fun because you just haven't had fun in a while and this person's, 
they're able to say, oh, I can see exactly what this person needs and I'm going to bring every single bit of it. I'm gonna be their dream on earth, you know? And it's hard to turn yourself off somebody like that, right? But if you're a person who's like, no, I can watch out for that and I can know right from wrong and I'm gonna stay with my trusteds or I'm going to, anybody that I bring around me, you know, in a serious nature before I ever get involved with them, I'm going to take them around my trusted to help me make these decisions. So I'm not blindfolded, uh, like this two of swords, <laughs> that may be your best bet. Okay. Take them around people that you know, that you know, you can trust family, friends, whatever. Um, so that you're not going in it blindly because that's what they can do. They can really, you're, you're, if you're vulnerable, you're bl going in blind, really. Okay. And they're banking on that. Right. So I do feel like most of you though, will make the right choice, right? You'll see it, how long it will take. I'm not sure that depends on you, but again, you'll have the sun here and then you have the six of wands. So you are going to be able to you know, see the light, literally, you're going to see the light and you're going to start moving forward in a positive direction. Let's get one last card here and then we'll pull some um, clarifiers. The hanged man. Okay. And that is something where you are like logistically putting things together, putting them back in order. You're in deep thought um, and purposely in thought. Okay. It's not like up here where somebody's trying to corner you into something, but you are intentionally putting yourself into a deep thought, okay? Because at this point, you've seen the light, right? You've started to get opportunities. You're starting to get that six of wands opportunities to move forward. And here is where you're starting to be able to think, what is it I really want? What is it I really need? What do I really care about the most? Who can I trust to guide me? And that's what I'm going to use when picking these opportunities to continue to move forward with that six of wands motion, right? Okay, so that's all good things. And I think that's all gonna end out very positive for all of you. So the thing here is though, that I am seeing with a lot of you, again, is I see a, you know, a very immature energies coming in. I see devil energies coming in, maybe the same, it could be the very same person, uh, is that immature energy that turns into a devil energy because they see uh, an opportunity through your vulnerability to do that. They come in just as immature, but then they see an opportunity to really, you know, take take you to the cleaners as it were kind of thing, or, you know, get their hooks in maybe kind of thing. But again, um, I do feel like, you know, you all will make it through this. Um, but the best bet here for most of you is to try to, you know, not get so off course when you first come out of your um, your state, when you start feeling a little bit better, when you start feeling a little bit more social, when you start feeling like you can get out there a little bit more, when you start feeling a little bit more um, confident, those kinds of things to, you know, kind of direct it in the, uh, a better direction. Uh, kind of stick with the people that you know you can trust from start before you have to go through a lot of kind of bad choices. <laughs> um, let's see if we can pull some of these. Okay. So we have three of these out of the psychic deck, the universe. Okay. So again, this is the universe. And I feel like the universe has your back, you know, with pulling you out. I feel like that's what it is. It's going to take the universe working behind the scenes to kind of pull you out of your doldrums, to pull you out of your depression, your, you know, your hermit phase that you've been in for some time. For many of you, I feel that that's kind of been something you've been in a funk. Uh, you know, down and out kind of situation. Some of you may be serious depression. Others of you just kind of like a funk, you know, I just haven't been my best. I haven't been out there. I'm not my normal, happy, chipper, you know, cups type self. Um, but the universe is going to help you out. Okay. They're going to help you get out there. Um, but what you do with that is up to you. Okay. Uh, the next one is your heart chakra. And this is particularly, um, important here for you because when you come out of your state and and by state it's whatever kind of state you've been in that you feel has been kind of hermit keeping you in that hermit feeling um where you're feeling like you're more yourself okay you're going to be looking for things that are going to make your heart feel better your heart sing right you're going to be looking for things that make you feel happy that are going to make you feel loved 
you know, the things that you feel like were missing, okay? But a lot of this is also going to make you very vulnerable, right? Those are the same things that make people see you as an easy target, okay? If they think that you're somebody, it's like, you know, the quintessential, oh, that girl's got daddy issues. So, you know, I go in and I swoop in and I act like a good father figure to her. And I'm, you know, like, you know, every psychological study there is, you know what I'm saying? So whatever your heart is desired that you haven't had is what can also get you into trouble. So this is where you need to be very careful, especially when people, immature people come in and start telling you the things that you've been wanting so desperately to hear, okay? So keep that in mind. Just be careful, okay? And the light, okay? And I this light is under your sun over here, right? So again, I feel like you guys will see the light, okay? You will see the light. You will get that six of wands energies and move forward. You will go into a thought process where you really think things through and start making better decisions for you and your future. Um, you know, but you need to channel this light. And the sooner that you do, the better you're going to be because the better you're going to be able to either avoid the devil energy altogether or just, you know, shut them off before they even get a chance to get their hooks in, right? So let's see here what we've got. This is the moon deck and we'll pull three out of this and then we'll close you out, okay? Alrighty, so let's see what we've got here for you. All right. This first card is surrender. And I feel like this is kind of where you are Again, I feel like this is where you've, it's almost twofold. You've been surrendering, you feel like. You've been surrendered kind of to just a, a funk, a phase, or whatever, okay? But again, the main thing here is kind of where at the end, I feel like you're settling, okay? You come out, but the first thing you do is start settling for, you know, whatever is kind of that instant gratification. So you're almost surrendering to your base needs, right? The first thing that makes you feel good, the first thing that makes you happy, the first thing without really thinking about, is this really something that's good for me long term? Is this something that's good for, you know, my my health, my well-being, my finances, my whatever? You just are kind of surrendering to, you know, your, your base, you know, needs at that moment, which, you know... <laughs> That's not necessarily good, right? Okay, because that can, again, get you into some trouble. Okay, hunger. And again, this hunger, again, this this is whole thing is about what your heart is hungry for, right? You Whatever you've been missing, that's what your hunger is. Your hunger is whatever you've been missing. So if you've been missing friends, you've been missing getting out and doing fun things, if you've been missing going somewhere, having a great time, getting drunk, uh, you know, partying, if you've been missing, you know, somebody doting on you, you know, having a boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever it is, you know, you're so hungry for this that you'll take anything that your heart's been desiring as soon as it's offered up. And you don't care if it takes all of your money, if you have to spend all those pinnacles, you don't care if it's the wrong person, you don't really care about any of that because you're so hungry for it, you're not really Again, thinking it through, you're kind of just surrendering to your your base uh, desires, and that's not good. Again, okay. But here we have the unexpected, and again, I do feel like there's going to be a point where you're going to have to make a decision, and I do feel like somebody is going to help you with that. And I feel like it's somebody who, um, you know, in your friend family zone, somebody who's very much trusted by you. Uh, is going to help you in an unexpected way. I do feel like that to help make a decision that's going to change things because you're on pretty bad trajectory here. I feel like with kind of not making the best choices, not making the best decisions, kind of going with your just base, not base desire, or, you know, just following whatever you feel like you want right then and not necessarily what you need um, or what's best for you long term, uh, even to the point where you're allowing devil energy to kind of start giving you uh, a, a blindfolded decision points kind of thing. And I feel like here, you know, somebody unexpected is really going to have your back. If you look at the picture, it's, it's two people together like that, really 
looking out for one another. So I really feel like somebody unexpected, um, you know, could be a long past friend that you really haven't had contact with in a long time. Maybe you thought, hey, this person's, you know, forgotten about me. They never thought about me. They never even cared about me. They haven't checked on me this whole time. I've been sitting at home, you know, stressed out or depressed or whatever. And they show up and they show up for you strong on this one. And they say, oh no, you're going down the wrong road. We're going to fix this. You know, your family may get together and say, hey, we're going to have an uh, uh, intervention here real quick because we don't like the people you're hanging out with. We don't like the way you're spending your money. We don't like the way you're, you know, doing too much fun stuff because it's fun, but it's a little too much fun, you know, those kinds of things. But I do think something unexpected or someone unexpected is going to kind of intervene and show up for you though, okay? Show up for you. And that's gonna make all the difference in the world because that's gonna be where you are going from ultimately about to get really tied into some devil energy, okay? Into sunshine, six of wands movement forward, and hanged man type of actually being able to purposely think about making good decisions, right? Totally changing your direction, totally, in every way in a very unexpected way. <laughs> so I do feel like definitely there's going to be something here that someone or something here unexpected that's going to kind of help you out. So anyway, if this resonated with you, please do like, subscribe, share, all that other great stuff. Otherwise, I hope to see you back for your weekly readings this week. And um, I, if you did like this kind of style, please do comment so I know. I appreciate it. Bye.